Well, welcome back everybody. And yes, we're doing this all at the end of the video because the beginning of the video, pretty well self-explanatory what we've been working on. So I've been just plugging away a few minutes here, a few minutes there on this knife. You can see that's where we're at right now. So we have our heat treat done. This part of the blade, the actual edge is nice and hard now. The file, if I can get it here, where did the file go? Right here. File. File just kind of skates on it. That's what we want. If it was to bite in, whole different sound. So, that's so how you know you got it nice and hard. Now, I didn't do the tang and I didn't do the spine of the knife because I want that I kind of want that to retain the toughness, not brittleness. So you harden the edge to get a little, it's, it's more brittle the harder you get that edge. But if we're going to be using this for a camp knife, I want to be able to baton this and things like that. Unfortunately, I don't believe I'm going to get this done before we leave Friday morning, which really sucks. But this week has just gotten so damn busy and tomorrow night I need to spend it getting ready for our big father-son camping trip. But we have a ton of knives, and he's going to get to keep this one in his hunting cabinet in his bedroom. So, that'll be cool for him. Um, not sure what I'm going to do the handle out of yet. I may use black walnut. Probably will. I just love black walnut. And I've got a couple scraps that are perfect. I have brass pins for it and two-part epoxy. So, hopefully that'll go together nicely. We're just going to do scales on this. As you can see, the spine is fairly thick. It's about 3 16 um, probably be a little big for his hands yet, but he's getting bigger all the time, so it won't be too much longer. So what took so long on this is the belt sander I have here is not a high enough RPM to really get much grinding done. So I found it was actually, I annealed this steel, which means you get it red hot, and then you let it cool down extremely slowly. And I did that in our gas forge. So what I did is I got it up to temperature. Put this in it when this was the same color as the forge walls around it shut it down and then let itself cool down very slowly until it was cool enough for me to grab but uh, and that made it really nice and soft to be honest with you filing this down annealed was a lot easier than actually using the belt sander so i kind of like the shape of it it took a little bit of a bend when i was working out the bevel took a little bit of a hook up but i kind of like that was able to get yeah Maybe a little bit of a clip point on there, or whatever you want to call it, drop point, I don't know. I don't know all the lingo yet, but we'll learn it. But, um, yeah, I think that'll make a nice blade. This is, this is the first knife I've ever even attempted to make. Wyatt and I both forged this out, and I don't know, I'm happy with it. So I've got another one to work on, but uh, unfortunately here pretty soon... Hay in time is just around the corner, so it's going to get super busy. But anyway, so look forward to a video from the camping trip. It's going to be probably a good long one because it's so pretty up there. So much things to get good shots of. Him and I will have a fun time just uh, running the camera. Some of you are going to say, well, geez, why are you going to bother doing that? You know, spend time with your son. Well, this is what we do. This is what we really enjoy. We enjoy sharing our experiences. He enjoys it just as much as I do. And it's fun to share things like that. Maybe maybe it'll inspire one of your kids, if you have kids that age, to say, hey, let's go camping. You know what I mean? You just never know. Hopefully the fish are biting. Hopefully the rain stays away. Hopefully the black flies are not biting. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll see you on the next one.